Last year, I decided to pick up Blender to try my hand at 3D modeling and animation. I was excited to dive in, but let me tell you, that learning curve is no joke. The interface and tools can be seriously overwhelming for a beginner like me. But I didn't let that stop me. I kept searching and found some awesome Blender tutorials on YouTube that really helped me get the hang of things. In this video, I wanted to share the five YouTube channels that I think offer the best tutorials for Blender newcomers. These YouTubers really know how to break down complex concepts into easy to follow steps for beginners. Some of the channels even have complete beginner courses that take you through the entire process of creating various 3D models and scenes for free. Check out the channel links in the description. I found Gene Yan's tutorial on rigging and animating a car model in Blender super helpful as an intro to Blender's animation tools. Now I know animation may seem intimidating, especially when you're just getting started with Blender. Believe me, I felt the same way. But I found watching Gene Yan's process and trying to follow along at my own pace was really useful, even though I couldn't do everything perfectly like he could. In the tutorial, he takes you through the full process, finding a car model online, rigging it properly, and then animating basic motions like steering and bouncing the suspension. I loved that he explains both the concepts and technical steps as he goes. Sure, I couldn't replicate his smooth animations perfectly on my first try, but following along gave me a solid grasp of Blender's animation features and how pros like Jin Yan use them. I felt much more prepared to try my own simple animations after that. Another fantastic Blender channel to check out is CG Boost. Their tutorial on setting up autofocus in Blender is a great one for beginners. The host, Zach Reinhardt, not only covers how to set up depth of field and autofocus effects, but he also touches on crucial fundamentals like three-point lighting and walk navigation in Blender. So you get a two-for-one lesson on cinematography tools and core Blender techniques. I liked how Zach breaks down each step very clearly. His instructions are easy to absorb, even if you're totally new to Blender. And the autofocus feature is really cool. It makes your 3D scenes feel much more dynamic and film-like. Zach has a ton of other awesome Blender tutorials on the CG Boost channel too. He's great at explaining complex techniques in an approachable way. I'd highly recommend browsing his other videos once you've checked out the autofocus one. Next up is the Polyfjord channel. Their Blender tutorials are so helpful and fun. I'd recommend starting with their Tipping Over Stacks of Cubes in Blender tutorial. It teaches you how to use Blender's rigid body physics to create animations of objects falling over and colliding, which I've got to say is ridiculously satisfying to watch happen. The tutorial walks you through setting up a simple scene with stacks of cubes, enabling rigid body physics on them, and then tipping them over with force fields and collisions. I loved learning how to leverage Blender's physics engine to easily create natural, chaotic motion like this. Polyfjord explains the concepts very clearly, and their instructions are easy to follow. Once you get the hang of it, you can spend hours just knocking over and smashing things for fun. Crushing towers of cubes is weirdly cathartic, you know? Definitely check out Polyfjord's full selection of Blender tutorials if you like their cube stacking one. They've got so many great videos covering all sorts of Blender techniques, but rigid body physics is a super useful skill, so start there. Let me know when you've sent your first stack of cubes tumbling in Blender. All right, no list of Blender tutorials would be complete without the legend himself. Blender Guru. Blender Guru, aka Andrew Price, is like the OG Blender teacher. Heck, he's even endorsed by the Blender developers. Millions of newbies, myself included, have learned the ropes of Blender with Andrew's insanely popular How to Create a Donut in Blender beginner tutorial. Andrew just refreshed the donut tutorial with updated instructions for Blender's latest features and interface. So if you're just starting out, I'd highly recommend tackling this project first. It walks you through all the foundational tools and techniques in a super clear, step-by-step -step way. Plus, making a hyper-realistic frosted donut is just fun. I won't lie, I got hungry watching the texture and lighting come together. Andrew has a gift for breaking down complex materials and lighting setups. Okay, time to cover one of the absolute Blender masters, Ian Hubert. This guy is pretty much a legend in the community. Ian is best known for his wild one-minute lazy tutorials, where he explains advanced Blender techniques at lightning speed. They can be pretty tough to follow along with since he goes so fast. I'm always pausing and rewinding to catch everything, but that's part of what makes his tutorials so great. 
Ian blows through these insanely complex workflows in a way that looks effortless. It really opens your eyes to what's possible in Blender and inspires you to take on projects you didn't think you could handle. Even if you don't pick up all the technical steps right away, learning Ian's general approach to modeling, materials, lighting, etc. in Blender is so valuable. He has a brilliant eye for efficient procedural techniques. I'd recommend watching Ian's lazy tutorials once you have a decent grip on Blender's basics. Seeing his creative process at work will spark all sorts of ideas for the kind of art you can make in Blender too. The guy is a machine. Let me know if you give any of Ian's tutorials a watch and if they get your creative juices flowing. His skill with Blender is just unreal. Don't forget to check the links to the channels mentioned in this video in the description below. Thanks for watching.